It's another great skiing exhibition, folks. The great Swedish skiing superstar is just about to break the world's record. Oh, goody, goody. I love skiing, yeah. Nothing in the world gives me so much joy. <gasps> what do you think you are doing? Wondering who would watch an old-fashioned sport like skiing. Hey, was watching it. Oh, so you're old-fashioned. Get your hands off of me. You better watch it, Woodpecker. Skiing is the sport of my fatherland. Ah, uh, more like the sport of your grandfatherland. Snowboarding's where it's at. Yeah, well, skiing's the greatest sport. Snowboarding. Skiing. I still say snowboarding's the best. Can't decide on the best method to get down a frozen mountain? Then you should sign up for the Inertia-thon, the all-out freestyle race to the bottom of Mount Incline Plain. It's the downhill experience of a lifetime. What's in it for you? Well, the first to reach the bottom wins 50 bucks, a year's supply of cornmeal, and a firm handshake. This will settle it once and for all, you bet. I challenge you to the race. You're on. Well, here we are with two lively contestants who hope to settle the debate of which is better. Ski! Snowboarding! <laughs> Although there's some folk who stick to the old standby, tobogganing. Hiya, buddy. Tobogganing! <laughs> 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 Well, I guess this little difference of opinion will be settled on the slopes. Racers to your marks. Hey, Wally, your boots are untied. Hold my poles, Bootpacker. Get set. Bootpacker, my poles. Here you go. I need some ski vax. If he wants to stick to skiing, I'll make him stick but good. This glue will do the trick. <laughs> skiing, I will go. Skiing, I will go. I will beat the woodpecker and make him eat my snow. Try snowboarding, Wally. I'm a ski. I show them a thing or two. Oof, ah! Well, at least I landed safely. Sure showed that too, Planker. Hmm. <laughs> Wally get through that. Oh, ogly, mogly. Moguls are my specialty. Woodpecker! See you later, Wally. <laughs> yeah, hello? 
This is Volley. Remember that favor you said you owed me? Well, I want the woodpecker taken care of. You know what I mean? Consider it done. Fish meatballs. Time to meet your maker, Woodpecker. Get it? Meet your maker. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Oh my gosh! Swedish Hitman! Oh yeah? Bye bye. <laughs> Goody, there's the finish line. Another great toboggan victory! How does tobogganing compare with skiing and snowboarding? I told you! World's greatest sport is tobogganing! Nothing higher! Nothing closer to perfection! How many times do I have to tell you? Can you people get a three reds? Tobogganing rules! Oh, it's my purpose in life. We search for the truth behind the legendary fur bearing trout. This week on Apparently We Don't Know. Fact, fiction, or just really bad fashion statement? Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur-bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. The fur bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. <laughs> Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. You gotta watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. Can I help you there, bub? I got a business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. Trout's work is never done.
Scout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? What a mess. Hey! Five bucks! Are you nuts? This is a genuine... Whoa! your name again. I can't seem to find you in Who's Who. You're definitely not of the Great Northern Flicker Woodpeckers. Are you sure you're not of the Hampton Woodpeckers? One of the oldest families in the city? They eat here all the time. I don't know. I'm just a common woodpecker. Look, I brought my money. Can't I just eat something? I'm starving. Let's see. Common woodpecker. It's got to be in here somewhere. Common woodpecker, common woodpecker, common... Common woodpecker? Shave only doesn't serve anything or anyone common. <coughs> Imagine that, a common woodpecker trying to eat a shave only. Hmm. Enough, huh? Wow! Did you see that? <laughs> I say, is that who I think it is? Oh, yes! It's Lord Crinkle! You mean the Lord Crinkle? Yeah, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous polo player! The famous rich polo player! Rich! Get him! Yomping Yiminy! It's Lord Crinkle, the famous rich polo player! <laughs> Lord Crinkle here. That's Lord Crinkle of the Oxford Crinkles. Uh, do be good and give us a menu. There's a good chap. My, you're thin for a maitre d'. Uh, Lord Crinkle, I'm over here. Huh? Did somebody say something? <laughs> uh, who said that? I did, Lord Crinkle. Huh? <laughs> Over here, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Where? Where? Who is this? Now, now stay still, whoever you are. <laughs> Lord Crinkle, can I show you to a table? Uh, a table? What are you doing down there? How do you expect to run a restaurant from the floor? Please, Lord Crinkle, let me show you to a table. A table? Oh, no, 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 dear boy, I couldn't do that. I'm here to scout out the restaurant for the Duke. The Duke? Yes, the Duke. He'll be here in a minute. Good evening, uh, Mr. Duke. Is this restaurant clean? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's clean. We'll see about that. Fork? <laughs> Look at this filth! Now clean that fork! I think it's clean now, Duke! Still dirty! I've got it this time. Like this? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Her Royal Majesty, the Queen! The Queen? The Queen! Here comes the Queen! Oh, royalty! Big money! Ooh, the queen! <laughs> Welcome to Shave Oli, Your Majesty! Ooh, 
you may kiss my hand. Now you may kiss the royal foot. that you are one of the select few who has kissed the royal foot. Um, have you food? Mr. Walrus. Appetizer? That was an appetizer? Uh, yes. I'll be ready for my dinner after I pay you the proper respects. Mr. Walrus, you may kneel. Kneel? You mean... <clears throat> knighthood? Your Majesty. I dub thee Sir Sweat of Walrus. I'm ready for my second course now. <coughs> Why, you woodpecker! <laughs> <laughs> I dub you Sir Freeloader. <laughs> I dub you Sir Moot. <laughs> I dub you Sir Lo I dub you Sir Slacker! <laughs> and now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on Channel 1 and ends on Channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only $4,000! Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over. Captain, I am inspecting in eagle-eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious-like. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> Thank you. 
You know, some itches they just don't have a cream for. I am being demoted to deckhand? But, Captain, sir... 